Germany, the venue for race four of the BMW IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. We're here in the Hawksauer Land, the colloquially named Dutch Alps, ready for the action in the second and deciding heat on this snowy Sunday morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Winterberg, Martin Haven and John Morgan ready to watch the action as we go for the medals at the halfway stage of the Women's World Cup. Well, John, it's going to be a pretty entertaining battle for the medals. We've got about five sleds going for the top three spots. Yeah, Kaylee Humphreys and uh, Sylvia Hoffman, they're in the bronze medal position. You know, with a, not a bad start time in the first run, third best start. Kaylee didn't look like she did yesterday or, or last week at Altenburg. No speed in the bottom part of the track, but she's in bronze medal position. And uh, Mariana Jamaica, well, her break with Burkhardt, one of the fastest female athletes in Germany, gives her a decent start time. She comes out of the 20th start position and posts a great time, fourth best start. And the Olympic champion looking like she could get on the podium for, for the first time this year. And, oh, some things don't change. Laura Nolte, Deborah Leva, well, they come out with the best start in the competition. And they just smoked the rest of the field coming down the track. Well, she's got first, 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 and a second so far in four races this year. And looks like it's going to be her race to probably capture again, Martin, unless somebody comes from behind to beat her. Yeah, 1,500s ahead of Yamanka, Kaylee Humphreys, Christine De Bruyne, Kim Kalicki. Don't count them out of the medals either. Lana Myers Taylor, 4,300s back. Might be a little much of a stretch even for Lana on her favourite track. But it is the hometown queen, Lauren Alter, who leads. And as you say, John, she has got not just a great record here, but a great record in her entire World Cup career. Short as it has been, her debut here two years ago, she took the bronze. And in January this year, she won it. There she is. And Cynthia Appiah. Everybody else just starting to warm up, getting ready for their ice times. First away will be China's Wai Ming Ming. So they will be already getting ready to get to the start line. And Lauren Alter, Deborah Levy will be the last to go. She's used to that pressure. If there is any pressure involved now in being the last one out, I'm sure she's pretty comfortable with how that feels. There's still a few spits and spots of rain in the air, and that shouldn't slow the track down or the athletes down too much. We go 20 down to one in the second heat with the leader going last to preserve their integrity at the top of the pile. Martina Fonteneva, Switzerland, does not get a second run. There were 21 sleds in the first heat, only 20 go through into the second. So Martina will post this as a 21st place result. And Lauren Alter goes last with the task of beating her own teammate potentially for the gold. Mariam Yamanka has never had a win on this track, so if she overturns that lead, it would be a first. China's Wai Ming Ming and Wang Jia Jia, the break woman. 20th half the first heat, just 600s of a second separating them from Lubov Chernik of Russia, who is next up. Let's see if they can find a little more in their second drive. Yeah, they had great results on a very difficult track last week in Altenburg, Germany. Martin, eighth. I think they tied the two Chinese sleds for eighth, right? And, uh, yeah, yeah. That was a great result. And on a tough track. This track's not as tough. A little bit more meticulous steering. Their coach, Pierre Luters, who used to do very well on this track, uh, maybe an Olympic gold medalist who, uh, coached the Koreans to a silver medal and was involved as the coach of the Russian team in 2014 and he takes his mercenary talents over to the Chinese program. Well, he See, and Andre Langer teaching these sliders everything they need to know about the business. It's good China progress we've seen them now. Yeah, 57-83, 57-47. Well, she gets the benefit of the fresh spritz. She was 18th of the 21 sleds in the first heat, so the track won't perhaps have had quite the gloss on it that it does now. But 57-47 in the first heat, John, just for comparison, that would have tied her with Bree Walker and Margot Bock for 11th. 
So Decent. that is the equal 11th fastest run. 15th in World Cup points, Martin. 20th, 19th, and again, that eighth place finish last week. Very impressive, according to my standards, to see young female athletes come out like this. All of them are sprinters, track and field backgrounds, as you would expect. So, first led down in the second heat of this women's bobsleigh race in Winterberg. Next up, Lubov Chernik of Russia with Yulia Egoshenko behind her. 26-year-old Lubov is not having the greatest season. It's her 21st World Cup start. She's been ninth and 11th twice on this track. 19th place is a long way back from par for her. Yeah, with her experience, Martin, I mean, the best start, but of course, that won't be the best start by the time we're all said and done. She has 68 in the first heat, you know, and 69 there, so it's consistent, but she shouldn't be back with the experience, the equipment she's got. The only really good positive I've seen so far to her season, Martin, is her helmet, which is awesome. <laughs> Tied with the Chinese sliders. And again, there was only a tiny 600 of a second advantage for the Russian sled. And she's already losing that. She's going back. Backwards. Close, though. Ooh, really late there on the exit of nine. She might not have done any steering. She's in green numbers, so that out of control. Yeah. Sometimes is the fastest. It's right to the hundredth. And she ducks she ahead, but doesn't get it. She does lose by a hundredth. Boy, that was some again. helter skelter. That last 300 meters, yeah. Martin. Green, red, green, red on two runners. Well, yeah. Well, and those years of experience, John, give you the confidence to know it's okay, I've got it, I can let it go, or they'll make you steer to save the crash. Whereas when you've only been driving for two or three years, Watch you're trying this. to save the crash almost all the time. But that's wow. up on the woodwork there. Look at that's on the yeah. woodwork. You won't see anybody else doing that. And she got away with it, Martin. She came out of the I'm pretty saying good. that's Yeah, that's luck, not judgment. If that was the designed line, then somebody's teaching us Martin, some very strange Martin, tricks. The harder you practice, the luckier you get. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, next up, Anne Van Nienhouse of Belgium with Sarah Ertz behind her. They call Sarah Granny in the team, 37 years old, summer and winter Olympian. And Anne was the first on the ice this morning, her ninth World Cup here. One of the most experienced drivers in the field. I think only Kaylee Humphreys and Alana Myers-Taylor have driven here more. Ooh, doesn't quite load. Yeah, she suffers at the start. Got, she has to rely on her eyes and hands. She's an accomplished driver. You know, and she's going to get a chance to show us right now in the next 45 seconds if she's accomplished or not. Mark the Belgians figured out about 13 years ago somebody created the Belgian bullets idea how can we qualify Belgian women's teams to the Olympics in 2010 they did 10 14 a great success that TV series documentary about it yeah and just the created Belgian the sports bullets. in Belgium yeah yeah just one of them off the wall ideas that turned successful and Anne's got a successful run to maintain her position. Oh! Oh! And the victory roll, the first we have seen this week. Well, the finish going upside down. They're going to have to catch the sled. Yeah. Oh, it comes up far well, enough. Luckily, it's okay. Yeah. But she, she ducked her head for aerodynamics. To Took a chance to duck her head. Yeah. It's not the Let first time she's done that. Won't be <laughs> not the first lady we've ever seen do that. 57 3 6 as well, John. 4100s better and uh, a great dismount as well. 57 36. That would have been comfortably a top 10 run in the first heat. If you can't win, Martin, be spectacular. <laughs> this is what is very pleasing to the TV audience. This duck her head into the finish curve. Okay, I've ducked my head. Oh, I'm not finished yet. Yeah. Oh, maybe Didn't I'll get on there too back quick. Up there. <laughs> she went, yeah. she went peek a boo and saw, saw the sidewall. So, uh, yeah. 
you know? But she's smart enough to do anything she can for hundreds of seconds. Thank Look at this. Thank you, Slaga. Thank you for the TV. Thank you for And don't forget, they're doing 81 miles an hour there as she rolls over and her head hits the wall. Next up, Yingqing of China, 17th after the first heat. And she has 1,200s advantage over her own teammate. There's all that little battle going on as well. Uh, she had, what, 600s over Anne van Nuenhaus. And as much as trying to stay... Yeah, much as trying to stay where she is, John, her battle would be to try and stay ahead of Wai Ming Ming. Her teammate. 24 yeah. years old, she's from Shanghai. She's a hurdler. Her brakeman is a 23-year-old sprinter from a place in China that I cannot pronounce the name of. <laughs> there are a few places in China that I can't pronounce the name. I mean, touring car racing at a couple of cities in China, and you think, OK, I've never heard of this place. You Google it. Oh, just 28 million people live there. 800s in the green, third best. Yeah. But, you know, and... Tiny margins. And who's in... She was great at the... Down the track. Four. Down to four. four. Got to watch out, 400s. She gets it up to five, she'll be the leader. It gets down to two, it's... Uh oh uh, doesn't have it. It's going to be... Going to lose by a couple hundreds. Let's see if that crash hurt but not enough. There's nope. the... Yeah. So the Belgians get a chance to get some air time in the winner's box. That's a good strategy. China's will drop one sled, Yang and Wang, and they're... Fight within a fight. I mean, the two Chinese sleds are in second and third. Last week, they tied for eighth, Martin. And Martin, will China get two sleds at the Olympics or one? I think they're going to the get one, right? Get? Mm, I, I think it, the first one only three guaranteed? nations get three. The next four nations get two. They might get two sleds at the games. Well, she lost 700s on the bottom. Where? My eyes aren't that good. Well, nine. It, it all starts to go wrong in nine. Next up, Misha McNeil of Great Britain, Montel Douglas. 300s in front of Ying Ching, and she has an 1100s lead over our current leader. Extends that with a couple of hundreds extra at the start. Definitely the most experienced of any of the drivers that has come down the field so far, Martin. Yeah, you know, she definitely is. Gives up time at the start. 66, though, but she can challenge Ann because Ann had 70. Now, 1300s, well, she should accelerate away. Most experienced other than Ann. This is Ann's ninth World Cup here in Winterberg. It's only Misha's seventh. But well, beyond them, only Kaylee and Alana have more World Cup starts. 600s at the last clock. 400s. So she's bleeding time and she can't afford any more. That's a good line there. Good speed line. How much violence is she going to get out of this curve here? Oh, not bad. 100, to 100. Not as, Close not as your quick eyes. as the Belgians. Duck Close your head. Your victory roll. There it is. Behind she goes. Get in the leader's so, and, and 400's back, John. She doesn't lose one spot. She loses two because Ying two of China spots. was 300's back. Well, she loses 102 spots. Wow. Yeah. It's tight. It's always tight here. We always talk about Innsbruck giving loads of ties and sort of forget that Winterberg is equally close, especially in Olympic season. Well, how hard does she hit here? Not bad. Check out the back end of the sled. Up in the air a little bit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Didn't lose by much. Dropped two spots. Five sets down, 15 to go. And Van Nguyen House of Belgium is our leader. So small nation versus small nation now. Race four of the BMW IBSF Women's Bobsleigh World Cup. Belgium's Anne Van Nguyen House, the leader. Romania's Andrea Grecu at the top of the ice with her great woman, Katrina Vick. 15th place after the first heat. And the gap is 1600s over Anne Van Nguyen House from the first run down the ice. They both started early and was first out. Andrea third out. That's their best start, and, you know. 
not so good yesterday in the 11th place in the Monobob Series yesterday for Andrea. 1400s lead. Well, can she grow that to 15 or 16 here? Going into the Chrysler? Well, her best results on this track, John. A fifth sixth best place finish in sixth place in January 2020. Anne's best result here, an eighth place in 2018. She's a sports therapist from Bucharest. Got to rely on her eyes and hands right here to maintain her placing. Yeah. 900, she's going to do it, Martin. Should have enough. Speed's not great, but it should be enough at the line. She ducks ahead to lead by 1800s. Well, Van Yunhaus still with the fastest run, but the first run advantage is enough for Andrea Greco. You saw Paul Niagu, the coach, lives and works here in Winterberg. He's part of Romania's so team. Friends and family in, here. I think Paul was part of the Romanian team, I think, back in Sarajevo. Been around a long time. Well, John, Skid as there. you may... As you may be aware, once you get bobsledding in your blood, it's really hard to shake it off. It's called drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> well, you see, you remember Sarajevo because you were calling the games. He remembers it because he was competing. Competing. So, going back a few Olympics. Next up, Anastasia Makarova and Elena Mamedova. And they were second out of the start shed, came down just 100th quicker than our current leaders, Andrea Greco and Katrina Vick. And Makarova, at the moment, looks like she's moving herself into the second best Russian spot ahead of Lubov Chernik. Oh, big, big tap there out of the zero curve. And that might affect her ability to take the uh, second best start time. She should grow her lead here. Only 600s, Martin, and uh, I don't know. It's a hundredth, so she should get it out to seven or eight, or that mistake she made out of the zero curve cost her five. Yeah, that did cost her second best velocity. So she can overcome that initial mistake and maintain her position with good eyes and hands, like she's doing right now. Watch here. Well, she's only had only had three race weekends here in Winterberg, and Andrea has already started her fifth World Cup. And because they're based oh, in Romania, so she's had lots of time on the ice. Hard hit. Hit. She's going to have enough. Going to be close. Tight. It was close. You want to see how to lose seven hundredths of a second in the lead? Yeah. Just watch the exit. <laughs> Twelve to thirteen. It's not hard here, is it, to give away that time? Well, that's the hardest hit we've seen of anybody so far, Martin. And mm -hmm. That's like hitting the brakes. There is no brakes in the sled, but there's a stoppage of your uh, forward energy. When you come in here late, look, as she taps there at the take on, in the middle of the curve, has to come up near the woodwork. Watch these, watch this. Bang, bang. The back end shot. Look at the sled go up in the air. Look at, ooh. Look at all the pressure goes down on the nose. That's where she so lost Anastasia, She doesn't move up, but she doesn't lose a spot either, which is kind of okay. Next up is Katty Bile. We're in quite a close battle here because she only had 800s over our current leader, Anastasia Makarova, and 900s over Andrea Greco. Katty Bile, bronze medalist here in January with Jennifer Onosanya behind her. She was 10 spots away from that in the first heat. That's kind of the season she's having, John. And Jennifer the Brakeman, Mark, she's a social worker. She works with children with special needs. And if you, if you talk to her, you see her personality. She must be a fantastic worker. And she's got such patience, always positive. That's how she deals with us. <laughs> yeah. She can put up with us because she's got that mindset. A nice looking Three line, it's much better second heat. Yeah. Now, well, can this move her up the leaderboard? She shouldn't be back here. She won the World Cup title here last year. 16th last week in Altenburg. That wasn't her. Third, third 10 months ago on this track. The track hasn't changed much. The sled hasn't changed much. 
2900s up for the seventh best speed. She's the second slowest sled, but she has the lead. So we shunt Russia and Romania out of the leader's box and we move Austria in. How long will she stay there? She might move up a few as Anne van Nieuwenhaus did. 14 Taylor the better. field right now. Taylor the field, Lubov Chernik is going to finish six spots behind Anastasia Makarova. Not a great day for Lubov. Little skid here. Her real only mistake there, exit of nine, then extra pressure in ten. But again, Martin third on this event last year. And she doesn't get third with good starts. She gets third with good eyes and hands. Better run for her, though. So, next up is Brianna Walker, a winner on this track last week in Monobob, silver medalist yesterday in Monobob, first race with Kira Rodinkis, who has been breaking for Ashley Werner so far this season. But Brie knows this track well. She spent the last two years in Germany, summer and winter. So let's see if she can not only hold on to her spot, but move up. She was tied in 11th with Margot Bock of France. Kira Reddings is uh, 29 years old from Melbourne and track and field have tapped elite like almost every athlete in the field. And a community and environment liaison person. She's the one that never saw snow, right, Mark? Yes. Well, she, I think she snow. lives in Melbourne now, but she's originally from Western Australia, from the desert about four hours north of Perth which is as dry as dry gets. 600 is the advantage, as it was at the start, so she's holding her own at the moment. Good lines. It's the exit of here right now. She's got to snake mm. this thing here perfectly. Nice. Ooh, I don't know if she caught anything there. How hard does she hit coming out of here? Oh, she's got a lot, Mark. Nice. This is a good run. Yeah. This is a good here run. Here we go. Not yeah, the best speed it. in the final corner, yeah, but a quarter second up. Yeah. Boy. Three tenths, 3,700 is better. She knows it, too. Uh, that was fourth quickest, a 57.10 in the first heat. So that is the joint fourth fastest run of the competition so far. OK, so Personal she's pass. gone 3,700 quicker. If Lara Nolte goes 3,700 quicker, she'll be down track to record. a 37, which will be two tenths almost inside the track record. So if the track holds up, oh boy, get the fireworks ready. Yeah, of listen, course. This, uh, this Australian athlete right here had the best speed by yeah. a kilometer over Kathy yeah. Barrow. So, I mean, that's... That's good stuff. Well, she was tied in a dead heat with Margot Bock. Margot with brand new break woman, Talia Solitude from Aix-en-Provence. And Talia, a uh, thrower and a sprinter. Raced only before in the race in Beijing, the IBSF official pre-Olympics race. So this is her first race on on the World Cup under lights. Yeah, she didn't she didn't make the second run, Martin, in that in that race. She had a first heat run and she was in 12th, but did not start the second run. Don't know what happened there in China. But uh 572 getaway, a little faster than their first, but they've got to find that coordination. And again, that only comes with timing. She's pushed with Carla Seneschal so far this season at Margot Bock. Like the way she really sits in the cowing, Martin. Her eyes barely yeah. above the little mistake there into the Chrysler. That little tap to six to seven. Good exit there, though. Ooh, another speed. tap this there out good. of eight. Is she coming back? No, she's got another tap there. Again. Well, she made mistakes and into Chrysler, out of Chrysler, into nine, and she's almost over there. Ooh, she's going to drop she's a couple of spots, John. Yeah, yeah ducks ahead at the line, but it's not enough. So she yeah, drops a couple, 57, 48. She did a 57, 47 in the first half and the first round. The round. Aussies went 3,700s faster, Martin. She went 100th slower. Yeah. 
A lot of mistakes on that run. All over the place. Tap left here. This is eight to nine. Now she's on the wrong side of nine. So she's got to steer twice there. Watch the exit here. She's going to come over and hit the right hand wall. And when you hit the right hand wall there into 10, then there's some double steering in there. And the more times you steer, the slower you go. And you crush the wall here on the exit of 12, 13. Bang. And not good. Well, 10 steps down, 10 to go, and Brianna Walker breaks the tie for 11th with Margot Box. She is our leader from Catty Bile. As we get into the second half of the field, Melanie Hassler and Nadia Pasternak next up for Switzerland, and they have a tenth of a second in hand from the first heat. Best start so far of any sled coming down, which she's got a tenth that she should grow that. 16, she, she has. So she should grow that out to 18 or 19 at the next clock when she's on point. Second World Cup here. She was 13th last year in the top 10 after the first heat. And the gap uh, holding Not steady very at 1500. Good speed, Martin. Not great. Down to seven, Ooh. and I think she's in jeopardy here. 700's gonna have to have some fast line down here. Can't hit the hard wall on the left. She does it. Down a hundred. Don't think so, Martin. Drop Take a spot. Their speed. Yeah. Drops a spot, and so the Aussies get a top 10 finish. And leaping up and down with delight, Brianna Walker, ninth place here in January. So she is one away from her best result in Winterberg. In a two-seat sled, that is. Silver medalist yesterday in the monobob. Yeah, you had it up top, Melanie. The start was the best in the field so far. Everything you did was just wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Just a little too much steering down the ice. So Melanie de Hassler drops back. What about Melissa Lotholtz? Melissa with more sizable advantage. 1700s, 1600s of a second. Uh, 1500s. See, my subtraction is awful. 1500s of a second ahead of Brianna Walker. And John, that's really easy to give away as well. Even if you're two or three tenths up, a big error can cost you almost all of that. Especially on this track. Go away. Yeah. Especially if you make the error up top when the speeds are slow. Like right here out of curve zero. So much time is yeah. lost. Get in, get down, smooth, around the curve, quietly. No, that's not quiet. That's a right, little but, thing cost zero. This young athlete here from you know, Calgary, but she's just been making great strides, Martin. You know, when you're like the third or fourth, third a year, I think, of set, you know, competitive racing. It's so only her Lake first Classic. World Cup on this track as well, so she's got very little experience at Winterberg. Gets tapped seventh away into speed. the Kaisel. Yeah, seventh. That should come down. Ten should come down. Yeah, it has a lot. She's well, even numbers. Yeah. Only 500s cover the top two, so this is either lead or drop to third. Trouble for her. Mistake yep. that tap up in the exit or on the entrance to Chrysler. Say that point to that. So if the Aussies move up. Best result here, a ninth place in January this year. They will currently be no worse than ninth. We are knocking on the door of a PB. This has been a huge Winterberg weekend as well for Bree Walker. She was 10th in the Europa Cup races here. Uh, she won the Monobob Europa Cup race. She was silver yesterday in the Monobob, and she is on for a PB in World Cup results here in Winterberg as well. That's huge. Speed. Yeah, Brianna Walker was flying on this track from the Chrysler down. Here the... Melissa just didn't have it today. Yeah. Well, two more Canadian sleds still to come. This is our final Russian sled of three, however. Manchester Sagava with Yulia Belomestnik. 
Manchester in her 41st World Cup race, her sixth on this track, her best in 2017 on her debut, a fourth place finish. 56 in the first run. And he has one extra hundred for the Walker compared to Lot Holtz. Yeah. Martin, 56 then of 63, something wrong there. He's going to have to overcome that. Out of the zero curve. Well, the, the curve's one thing, the deficient start from the first run. You should be 100 or 200 either way, not 800 behind your first tee. 56 to 64. Yeah, she and Yulia didn't coordinate the hit very well. Speed's not great, only seventh best. She's only 500s up. That's going to vanish, isn't it? No, it it's going to be red. Red numbers. Yeah. Now, the question again is, free fall, how low does she go? 500s back is second. 1600s back, Melissa Lotholz in third, and she was only 100 ahead of Melissa from the first heat. Is she third at the line? She is third at the line. The Aussies have a best ever result here. So Brianna Walker and Kira Rodinguez are on a real roll. The start three in January, and she will now be no worse than eighth. Well, not very good for an experienced pilot. Her mistake was at the start, not only not a good time at the start. Look at something, something kind of a flap, some kind of a loose piece of tape there in the bottom of the sled. Look at the speed difference, pretty pretty much the same. Martin, she got, she lost it at the start, 700 slower at the start, 800 slower at the start. Yeah, and she's not happy. Don't blame her. Okay. Seven sleds to go, and Australia's Brianna Walker and Kira Rodinguez are the leaders. Quarter of a second ahead of them in the first heat, Cynthia Appiah and Dawn Richardson Wilson. Fourth best start, any hundredth now, John, just adds to that little advantage as well. Yeah, this is, could be, they, should, they probably are gonna get a better start in their first run. 555, Ooh. wow. That is the best well, start. Still only 300s quicker than the Aussies. So that's another reason why the Aussies are going well. They started 557 and 558. Cynthia, a 554 and a 555. Now she's got a quarter of a second lead, which is an eternity of time on this track if you're an experienced pilot. She doesn't have a lot of the experience. Great athleticism as we see that in Montabob with her meddling the last two weeks because of the superior start time, but Martin, she's probably getting the least amount of trips than anybody in the field. Ooh, almost over, nine. A lot of history in curve nine on this track. Goes back decades, and she's gonna lose her lead, Martin. She is. How far does she drop back to second? Yes, only 400s back. The Aussies will be no worse than seventh. That's five Do they believe it's we'll a go. top six finish? I know, isn't that great? Picked off five. five, five, five start. And that's huge confidence for the driver as well, because although she didn't do it in both runs, she knows when it goes right, it can go really right. She barely beat Hassler, though, by 100, too, Martin. You don't see that. Yeah, and absolutely. Sarah Gaba by 300s. So, you know, she could three more hundreds, Martin, she'd have been out of the, out of the mix. Watch this. Yep. This is almost upside down on the woodwork. Boy, she doesn't panic, though. I give her credit. Well, she lost all her time Next right time, there. I'll get this track. Well, as a rookie driver, does she even have time to react to that, or are you suddenly into the next corner? In super slow-mo, it looks like there's all the time in the world. At 75 miles an hour, it's just a blink. Next up, Alana Myers-Taylor on one of her favorite tracks with Kosha Love behind her. Three tenths clear. Surely now she's going to steady the ship. Second fastest starts in the competition. This should give her another tenth in the bank over Brianna Walker, the current leader. Yeah, 549. Well, that's pretty impressive. Same start as they had in the first run. I thought they would do better at the start, Martin. I noticed Alana and Kaylee both in the two-person sleds have lost time on the bottom part of the track. You know, and the 
Didn't Alana win the world championships here in 15? Or did uh, she did, she was, yeah. Yeah, she won the world. She was the first American Worlds ever. That's hard to believe. I know. After all those years. Years of... But she's got a huge speed. lead. She's, not, she's 4,300 something what? now. She's 2,900 something, Martin. Where's she's the speed? Big, a big hit there into 11. She should be the leader, but it's not going to be by much. Too much. Yeah, she's going to lose a lot of time. It's going to be single digits. Yeah. Losing at time the line at the bottom. by 1100. OK. But still. All right, so new occupants of the leader's box, but Brianna Walker picked off Margot Bock, Melanie Hassler, Melissa Lott Holtz, Nadezhda Segova, and Cynthia Appiah on her way to a top seven result. And that's only if nobody else makes a mistake now. I'm not sure that was a medal winner. Cash Love, uh, Love won last week's event with Kelly Humphreys. This week yep. she's with Alana, the track and field star from UNLV. Little skid there, Alana. That's two tenths. Look at the speed. Full kilometer down. I tell you, American sleds, women's bobsled, the American sleds have been losing lots of time on the bottom part of the track. No medals in women's bob so far this season for Lana Myers. Taylor, seventh, fifth, fifth, and now currently leading with five to go. Three of whom, and no need to hold the front page, are German. First up is Kim Kalicki, silver medalist here in January. Lenny Phoebe behind her, Lenny's third start of the season. Was rested up last week. 5-6-0 getaway. Now she has to be perfect to overcome the deficiency at the start. Kalicki's from Wiesbaden, Fiebig's from Cologne. And they've, they've second in World Cup points, Martin. 900's back. Now, if this gets to 700's back, she will take, overtake Alana on the bottom. She doesn't lose any more time here. There, got a one already. So she's going to be the leader. And, she, you know, Germans going fast on German tracks is something we're used to for well, many decades. World Cup races, Kim Kilicki's only been off the podium in two of them. Is this going to be a third? She yeah. needs to have the lead from Alana Myers Taylor. Good run. She's pulling away now. This Best is speed a really at the good bottom. Run. Ducks Ducks ahead and up the line. Wow, 57 right, so better. the track record is safe. I don't think the track record is going today because these top sliders are much closer in the second heat to what they did in the first heat. Nobody's finding three tenths of a second, as we saw further back down the order. Look at this, a little problem with the starter. She should she should come in straight. And she got the left hand shoulder way back. That's something her foot must have got caught, Martin. Yeah. Or she shouldn't looks have like. been turned like that. Not much else she did wrong, but the speeds that she attained down here. She can drive. It's why she's second at World Cup points. I don't yeah. know if she's going to get a podium today, medals. though. She's going to need some no, help. May not. Well, what about the podium then? 100 the head of Kalicki was Christine De Bruyne with the booge behind her. Started 561, so just a whisker quicker than Kalicki. Kalicki's second heat was a 5-6-0. So this pair need a fraction more as well. And yeah, they find it. Yeah, they got a better start. You know, and that's, that's the key. I mean, they're, they're pretty equal in the start, her and Kalicki, but she got her there by 400, so... And pretty equal at the bottom as well, John. Only 100 between them. Now, she needs a better lead early on because Kalicki yeah, flew the last corner it. nine. Red numbers yeah. already. Yeah, she's already lost it, so she should have been farther up with the start. But starts were pretty equal, but she had 300s at that first light, and now it's in red numbers. And now, ooh, now she can't fall much more than this. In March, she's been on all four events. She's been on the podium. Yeah. The third well, place in every had race. Her best, her best ever Winterberg result came in the race in January this year. That was fifth. Ah! Oh, she rolls across the line in seconds. That's a hard hit, too. I don't like that. Yeah. That was a hard hit on the helmet. 
It's hard when the sled starts to go like that at 80 miles an hour. You've got to pull yourself down inside. You don't have seat belts or anything else to hold you in. You just got to hold the D-rings and yeah. haul yourself in. Well, Bougie is out oh. and Christine is out as well. Yeah, and they should check Christina. But yeah. Well, she's lost the visor as well, so you can see that it was a, a hit. decent hit. Yeah. They definitely need to check her. Well, thumbs up, but it's the yeah, put me in, coach. Well, they found a little more at the start. Christine, Licky had boy, the boost got in there way speed. quicker than yeah, way quicker yeah. than Christine. Looks like she got in a little late there, Martin. Well, and here we are, finish curve. Hit. Yeah, get your head in, and uh, you know, you're doing 80 as your head hits the wall, and the wall is trying to stop you. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. that's Ooh. well, she is going to have a very stiff neck in the morning. Hi, Ruth. Yep. Hey, sorry, Mom and Dad, I had to see that. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. Sorry, Evo. Evo knows it's the school of hard knocks. Mom and Dad are going to worry. All right, there's your leaders, Lenny Feebig on the left, Kim Kalicki on the right. And they go to offer their congratulations and commiserations to Christina Bruin and Krista Budzinovsky. Three to go. Kelly Humphreys with the visor, the goggles, and Sylvia Hoffman closest to us, her break woman. Good start in the first round of 51. She's going to need that mm. again to solidify a medal because Kalicki flew down the track and was only 700s behind, but Kalicki. It's got a 61 start, so Kaylee and, yeah. and Sylvia can get off here at a 51 or so start. It's going to be pretty tough for her not to be the leader at the bottom. Ooh. But I also mentioned the U.S. sleds seem to be losing a lot of speed at the bottom. Just what I've noticed sitting here. Yeah. 55. Right. Mm, not the, uh, the, the Germans match their start time. These two Americans were 400 slower. So, no mistakes allowed here, Kaylee, for a medal. Kalicki, the silver medalist here in January. Kaylee's last medal was, wow, 2015. She got a bronze. Uh oh, not good. Not, she should have been out. She was 1,200s back to five. I don't think she's going to be going to do it. Only the yeah, 14th best already. speed, 17th speed. Yeah, Where's all here. the speed gone? She got 10th in a World Cup race in Innsbruck a couple of weeks ago. It was very perplexing. Yeah. 18 back. I mean, how many spots is she going to fall? Wow. Right now, second ahead of Christine DeBrown. No, 100th behind Christine. So Kim Kalicki and Lenny Feebig are in the medals again. And Kaylee Humphreys is third. Christine DeBrown second. Well, that 400 difference at the start would have, wouldn't have gotten her to Kalicki, but would have had her fourth. But Alana had well, a We're talking up tiny top. margins. Is she yeah. okay? She gets out. She looks yeah, a little stiff. She got up stiff. pretty gingerly. Mistake here? Aren't you? Not really. A little dip there. Look at the difference well, in speed. Nothing... Kilometer and a half almost. Yeah. U.S. Nothing else don't have speed in the bottom part of the track. Kaylee will be happy to head to Altenburg next week. You see Winterberg in her rearview mirror. And normally, most people think the other way around. Mariama Yamanka with Alexandra Burkhardt. Now, that was Alexandra's Olympian uh, ankle tattoo. That was from Tokyo, or not from Tokyo, after Tokyo. In the summer, Germany's fastest woman and the reigning Olympic champion. It seems like a great combination, doesn't it? Yeah, well, you know, Mariana does not, Mariana does not get the fourth best start. Here, the second best start of the race. And Jamaica does not get those starts. So the Germans have uh, got a really fast break of it, and the Olympic champion. This is on her way to the best performance of the year, Martin. She's been in a slump in Mata Bob. She's been in a slump in two-person Bob, and I well, think she's coming out of it lead. today. Big lead over Kalicki. 
This is really putting the younger driver back in her place. Fourth best speed, still four tenths clear. She's never won on this track, Mariama. She's had two bronze and three silvers in the last five races. The well, last six, she wasn't on the podium at all last year uh, in January. Ninth best speed out of at the bottom. Slump. Wow. Yeah. 5695. Martin, she's out of her slump. Her first medal of the season, although she did win the Matabob event in China at the new track in the Yanking Sliding Center. That was Which her only other podium of the season. This year, that's what this year is all about. That's what everybody cares about, what happens in China. Look at the technique by this brand new brakeman who competed at the Summer Olympics. She's now in the Winter Olympic. A little late there, nine. Skid made a mistake there, Martin. She had it up to 4,300. She ended up with 2,900s. Not as much yeah. speed. That's because of the mistake in the exit of nine on the way to 10. So, now on the right, there's Alexandra Burkhardt, 100 meter semi finalist in Tokyo. Will she make it to the games? Got to say, looks like she might be booking a ticket. Lara Nolta, the first heat leader with Deborah Levy. They were the winners here in January. Lara Nolte and Deborah Levy took bronze here in 2020. That was Lara's World Cup debut. She's the hometown queen. 5.49, yeah, great start. She's only 23, Martin, and you know, she's, every race this year she's won, except for she's got second one time. This is her race to lose. 1,600 leagues. She's, She's not just a great driver, she's such a strong push athlete as well. Ooh, you can see that. Let's get there though. 1300 from 16. Only the ninth best time. Put your seatbelts on. This isn't over. All right. She's still got a slender lead, in. but it is a slender lead. Is Yamanka going to win in Winterberg oh, for the first time? Oh, that's a mistake there, Joe. Yamanka, this is right to the 100th. Oh, no, 600, she's, got she's holding on. She's got but look at the speed. By Hopeless speed at the bottom, but she just Seven. has enough. 57.03. It's gold for the second race in a row for Lara Nolta and Deborah Levy. Three World Cups here in Winterberg. They have not been off the podium. She'll be painting the finish area pink. And she won the event in uh, Yangchun, China, Martin. So four, mm. five races, four goals and a silver, and she has the best start, which a lot of Myers Taylor, I'm sure, is looking at that. A lot of used to have the best start, of course. Yeah. And look at all the people in pink there to celebrate. That's yep. a fan club. That's all the fan club, yeah. Matching color to her sled van, which is that lurid pink as well. Martin, it was not a perfect run. But when you have the best start, you can afford to have a few mistakes on the way down. So her season so far in women's bobsleigh, gold in Innsbruck, gold in Innsbruck, silver in Altenburg, gold in Winterberg. Not Don't having mention, a bad year Martin, so far. Martin, you, you got to mention that Yang Ching. No, she won that event going away. <laughs> well, th the problem with that is, do you want to win the December Yang Ching, the November Yang Ching, or do you want to win the February Yang Ching? And I think that's the way the she's going. One. Martin, she's winning it all. Yeah. She's, and when, that was not a perfect run, Martin. There was mistakes all over the place. But yep. when you got the best start time, and Yamanka had the third best start, she's usually getting the eighth or tenth yep. best starts. That's Alexandra Burkhardt putting her head above the parapet and looking for a slot. It's a German 1-2-3, the first sweep of the weekend. Christine De Bruyne ahead of Kaylee Humphries and Lana Myers. Taylor, North Americans, 4-5-6. Aussies, Walker and Redingius take seventh place. That is a best here for Brianna Walker. And that might even be a World Cup best result Personal for her. Personal best. Ninth in January. Yep. Love, love them personal bets. Well, there are your winners. On the left, Deborah Levy. On the right, Lara Nolter. John, it was a great run from them. Yeah, again, you could make mistakes when you have the best start. She's got the best start, Martin. But 
is scary. But uh, she's had the best start most of the season. <laughs> Lana Myers-Taylor, when she won her world championships here, blew the field away at the start. And this young German wasn't perfect, but was good enough. She certainly was, and she continues as our World Cup points leader from compatriot Kim Kalicki and Christine De Bruyne. Kelly Humphreys, Mary Army, Amanka, Alana Myers, Taylor rounding out the top half dozen. As we get into page two, we will find Australia's Brianna Walker. As she, uh, in fact, she's on page three, 23rd place, because she missed the Altenburg race to race here. Confirmation, her seventh place finish, Brianna Walker, is her World Cup best race. Never mind her best race here. Her previous best was eighth place in Innsbruck in December 2020. So Brianna Walker has a PB and just creeps ahead of her teammate Ashley Werner. Well, that's it for the women's bob from Winterberg. They head back to Altenburg next week, but we have more action coming up this afternoon. It is race two of the weekend for the four-man bobsleigh. Join us, 13.30 local, 12.30 GMT. That is 07.30 Eastern. For John Morgan and the IBSF TV crew, Martin Haven saying goodbye for now. All good for me? You hear me? Yes. <laughs> no, they're not hearing me. Ah, you hear me. Hey, how are you? Hello. I'm very fine. How are you? <laughs> good. Not as good as you, I think. <laughs> okay. Lauren Alter, Deborah Levy, victory in Winterberg the second time in 2021. Tell us about today's race. Yeah, I was pretty nervous before the start, to be honest. I mean, uh, racing on my home track in front of all the spectators that came for me is very cool, but also a little bit of pressure. I wanted to perform very good today, but we did, and I'm very glad about this. We had a perfect start. I'm very happy. Yes, it was just beautiful having our families here and cheering for us. It was so cool. <laughs> and how much does it mean to you to have fans back at the track again? Uh, it means everything. I mean, this world lives from the spectators. Uh, being at the start and having people cheering for you is so much cooler than yeah, racing for on your own. Like it's uh, <laughs> training without, yeah, with better start times. Other so yeah. <laughs>
Well, congratulations. Another victory in your career. And uh, I'm sure everybody will enjoy it with the friends and family around you. Definitely. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Well done.
Sehr verehrte Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, in Kürze beginnen wir mit der Siegerehrung. Dauert nicht mehr lange. Die Damen Yamanka und Burkhardt. Sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, BMW IDSF 2 Woche Weltcup der Frauen presented by Felix BMW IDSF 2 Women Bobsleigh World Cup presented by Feltins. Eine Veranstaltung natürlich der IBSF und wie alle Siegerehrungen bei der IBSF beginnt die mit der offiziellen Hymne des Weltverbandes. We're gonna start this award ceremony with the official anthem of the IBSF. Weltcup der Frauen in der Feltins Eis Arena in Winterberg, die Siegerehrung, the award ceremony. Der dritte Platz, the third place aus Deutschland, representing Germany, Kim Kalicki und Leonie Fiebig. <lacht> Jeden Tag Pokale nehmen, die Holzbäumchen stehen lassen. Der zweite Platz, the second place aus Deutschland, representing Germany, Mariama Yamanka und Alexandra Burkhardt. Der erste Platz, the first place Gewinnerinnen dieses Weltcups, the winner of this World Cup aus Deutschland. Representing Germany, Laura Nolte und Deborah Levy! Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, zu Ehren unserer Gewinnerinnen Laura Nolte und Deborah Levy darf ich Sie jetzt um die Aufmerksamkeit für die Nationalhymne der Bundesrepublik Deutschland bitten. To honor our winners, Laura Nolte und Deborah Levy, please listen now to the national anthem of Germany.
Gewinnen beim BMW IBSF Zweierbob Weltcup der Frauen presented by Feldteams. Laura Nolte und Deborah Levi, der zweite Platz, Mariama, Jamanka und Alexandra Burkhardt und der dritte Platz, Kim Kalicki und Leonie Fiebig. Gratulation an die Damen. Gute Weiterfahrt nach Altenberg. Da geht es ja wieder zurück. Wir sehen uns im Januar wieder hier in Winterberg. Und für alle, die jetzt da sind, bleiben Sie bei uns. Um halb zwei geht es weiter mit dem Viererbob der Männer. Herzlichen Glückwunsch an alle Beteiligten. Danke und bis gleich.